This tutorial will be on sex-linked traits. Now, just as the word implies, sex-linked means that these traits are going to be carried on the X chromosome. Sex-linked, linked to the X chromosome. The X chromosome is longer than the Y. The Y is missing a section that will not have a gene to counteract anything that's on the X. That's why males will only need one sex-linked allele to express these traits. Therefore, these traits are going to be more common in males than females because whatever is going to be up here on this section of the X is going to be expressed in the male. Males are never carriers. They either have the gene or they do not because again, they're only going to have one gene for the sex-linked traits. And males will be inheriting these traits from their mother because the mother is going to give them the X chromosome. If the trait is recessive, females need to inherit an allele from both mother and father in order to have the trait. In order to express the genotype when we're speaking about sex-linked traits, since these genes are carried on the X chromosome, that's how you need to express the genotype. Here is an example of a sex-linked trait, hemophilia. We're going to represent normal blood clotting with the capital H. Capital H is for normal blood clotting. People that have hemophilia are not going to be able to clot their blood properly. Um, they are missing certain factors that are needed for the blood clotting process. So the recessive <clears throat> we're going to represent with a lowercase h for hemophilia. So females can be homozygous dominant receiving two capital H's for normal blood clotting, or they can be heterozygous, being what we call a carrier. The dominant gene will allow them to have normal blood clotting, but having that recessive gene, they can pass on to their offspring, and since the boys will inherit this from the mother, a mother who is a carrier has a 50% chance of passing it on to her sons. In order for her to have hemophilia, she has to receive the gene from both parents. So she has to be homozygous recessive. Now males, if they receive the normal capital H from the mother, they have no problem. But with just one lowercase h for the hemophilia gene coming from the mother, they will have the disorder. They don't have a chance to be hetero uh, heterozygous and be just carriers. Either they have the normal gene or they have the hemophilia gene. So here is an example of a cross where the father is normal and the mother is a carrier. So notice there is no allele on the Y chromosome because the Y chromosome being shorter, it's not going to have an allele on it. When you do the cross, you will see that for the girls, and when you do genotypic and phenotypic ratios in sex-linked traits, look at the girls and the boys separately. Don't look at them all together. So here, the girls, there's a 50% chance that they're going to be carriers. This is the genotypic ratio. And a 50% chance that they will be homozygous dominant. But phenotypically, they're all going to be normal because they all have the capital H. Whereas the boys, there's a 50% chance that they will be normal and a 50% chance that they will have hemophilia. Okay, so look at the sexes 
separately when you're looking at sex-linked traits.